Hello everybody and welcome to Off Campus at the National Championship presented by FootJoy. I'm Asher Wildman. 30 teams came to Carson Creek for the opportunity to win a national championship at Stillwater, Oklahoma. After 54 holes of stroke play and three days of match play, the Augusta State Jaguars defeated the Georgia Bulldogs 3-2 to win back-to-back -back national titles. A year ago, Augusta State did the unthinkable in defeating Oklahoma State at the Honors Course to win the school's first national championship. This year, they did something else few thought they could do, win back-to-back -back titles. You, you dream of winning one national championship as a coach. You never think in your wildest dreams that you could possibly win two, and to do it in this uh, dramatic fashion in this setting is, um, uh, is, is remarkable. And everything fell into place once again, and we all played well when we needed to under pressure, and, and we got it done, just pulled it out. This was Augusta State's last hurrah. All five Jaguar players will not be back next year. Four are graduating, and Patrick Reed is opting to turn pro and go out on top. We're saddened by it, all of us leaving. I'm leaving this afternoon, and everybody else is leaving tomorrow morning. And I think Henrik's leaving the following morning after that to go to Palmer Cup. So we're all going different directions, and unfortunately, we don't get to celebrate together. In the final matches, Georgia won two. One by Bryden McPherson, and the other by Russell Henley. Augusta State's three wins came from seniors Carter Newman, Mitch Kravolich, and junior Patrick Reed. I mean, he made a couple long putts to save par, which, uh, which kept him in it. And then the last hole, I mean, he hit it in the water, unfortunately, but at the same time, I mean, I was over here climbing around over here in the rough and almost dunked it in the water myself. Yeah, Hud hit it really well, but he just he didn't really make the putts at the start, which probably hurt him because his, his run kind of came and all that did was get him back to square. So, I mean, he's a great player and he, he, hit, it, he hit it amazing. It just really didn't fall for him today. For Georgia, it's the end of an era for their big three. Russell Henley, Harris English, and Hudson Swafford all have graduated and will now start their professional careers. For those three guys to be able to make a run in their finale, that, that was pretty special. I know that'll be a memory they'll take with them forever, and you know, and that's why I try to tell these guys they had a great run. You know, there's nothing to be ashamed of. All the people back in Athens are proud of them, and uh, you know, they got bright futures ahead of them. Been here four years. Hud's been here five. I mean, it's been good. Good team chemistry. Uh, we're all hoping to go pro in the next couple months, so I uh, hope we're going to continue that friendship. The last four years with these guys, man, you can't replace it. It's been a dream come true. Uh, you know, top win today would have topped it off for sure, but, uh, you know, be here, be in a position to do it uh, is still awesome. Won, won two SEC championships and a lot of tournaments, and, you know, I've gotten better every round I've played for Georgia, so no regrets looking back, and unfortunately, Fortunately, you know, didn't come away with the, the big one this year, but uh, at least we gave it, gave it a good shot. The season has come to an end, and the trophy is headed back to where it started at the beginning of the year. Augusta, Georgia, home of the two-time national champion, Augusta State Jaguars. For Off Campus, I'm Asher Wildman.